All right, in this video, I want to solve another quadratic equation by factoring. So here we want to solve the quantity y plus 6 squared equals 81. And for those of you who have seen the square root property, and you're saying, hey, Patrick, the square root property is much easier to use, I say, I absolutely agree. But again, you know, we're just trying to illustrate factoring. I don't, you know, the procedure is what's important here. So, okay, in this case, the first thing I'm going to do, since I'm going to try to factor it, um, again, we want one side of our quadratic equation to equal 0. So I'm going to subtract 81 from both sides. So well, we've just got the quantity y plus 6 squared. Now minus 81 equals 0. Now there's two things you could do here. You could now foil out the y plus 6, you know, take y plus 6 times y plus 6, collect your like terms, uh, subtract 81, and then kind of try to refactor that. But to me, when I see this, this is really a difference of perfect squares. I see something squared, and there's my minus sign, and then I see something else squared, namely 9 squared. Okay, And remember, a squared minus b squared, that factors nicely. So a squared minus b squared is just a minus b, a plus b. So that's what I'm going to do in this case. So to me it says you're going to get, okay, so my a is the y plus 6. So you get y plus 6 minus b. And again, the number being squared is 9. And then we multiply that by basically the exact same thing, but we just put a plus sign in the middle. So y plus 6 plus 9 equals 0. And now inside the parentheses, we could really think about there as being a positive 1. So if you distribute that, it would just get rid of the parentheses on the y plus 6. So we have y plus 6 minus 9, which is going to be y minus 3. And then we have y plus 6 plus 9, which is going to be y plus 15 equals 0. And now that we have it nice and factored, we just do the same thing. We set the first factor equal to 0. We set the second factor equal to 0. Um, I'll add 3 to both sides on the first equation and get y equals 3. And I'll subtract 15 on my second one to get y equals negative 15. And now we've got our two solutions. And notice it's pre pretty easy to check these. If you plug 3 in, you would get 3 plus 6, or 9 squared, which is certainly 81. If you plug negative 15 in, you would get negative 15 plus 6, which would give you negative 9. But that squared is still equal to 81.